Hello and welcome to GigaPlace Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create this compositing for illustrations so you can use it for your um, poster or book. We even leave it space on top so you can integrate text if you need it. Um, but we'll take for a model, we'll process it with uh, uh, using channel separations, dodge and burn, and other effects so that we bring model to this three dimensional look creating backdrops, importing, and integrating everything together. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on the object with the model preparing. Uh, one thing I note in this photo, it's a little bit dark pen, so we need to bring details out. And the problem when we start working like this is uh, model here with some very shiny like in this area we have it some metal also you see some chrome abbreviation slightly so let's go ahead and fix this we work in camera raw so i'm going to enable chrome abbreviation you can see start fixing these areas um let's go next and move into some darker area like pens right here and try bring some little bit more details out um, we can do this by move a little bit shadows up but problem is if we're going too far you can see we start having color noise appearing so we'll just move a little bit maybe around 20 as well to smooth some of these highlights we can bring and flatten slightly highlights so I'm just checking right here let's go our exposure pop up slightly up okay we still need it right here on the chrome part so this will be this way okay, we're gonna pan so that's look okay um let's go right now closer to the face and i want pop up sharpness so we'll go about 70 maybe a little bit closer normally i bring closer to the skin and check right around here so we can see some details can see if we go too far we start having this grain we don't need it probably maybe about 70 right there will look good okay also um if we go on a pants maybe even closer we can take laminates just move slightly up for noise reduction so we don't have this color problem going on so just reduce a little bit on the color noise okay so let's go now back to the face and a couple of things i want to do it's add a little bit more dimension we can do this with um grayscale and work on luminous so you can see if we modify we can actually have it some effect we can apply it so i'm going to bring a little bit orange and yellow will give it us a little bit right here on the adjustment so slightly add a little bit more effect to a face okay let's go zoom out okay i think that is okay right now adjustment so we can start work rest inside the photoshop um, i'm going to open as an image and i'm opening as 8-bit for the tutorial you always can switch and i do recommend to use it 16-bit it will provide you with um, less steps uh, you won't have some distortions and the coloring gradients and other ones but again for purpose of the tutorial i'm using 8-bit and i'm just open as an object well as an image you always can Please and hold down shift key and open as an object. So okay, let's go ahead and open. For this tutorial, I'm using um, Photoshop 2014. So we're going to, right now, let's go right here. And things what I want to do, it is um, mask and isolate this object. So I'm going to create new layer. Okay, we'll go take pen tool and normally what I do I combine the mask so I will use a pen tool just to go around 
and you notice I'm about one pixel depth and when I click have this handles contract and just slightly drag them parallel to the surface so you can see and let's give it very nice very easy and fast you can create mask normally I'm going right here see right where it's bending so just before a little bit and after and again you can see my handles they kind of follow the outline so and this will create a very nice very fast way you can mask with a pad the reason why I'm masking with pen it's provide for me very sharp very nice edge and uh, because I'm going to combine mask I don't need to worry too much about um, magic wand or rather that is easy to use but overall it will provide not as sharp and nice edge as I want so I'm going to um, pause tutorial and continue creating mask and come back when mask is um, done so I will go over um, hair actually let me show you this so what are we going to do with hair okay so we're done masking and um, here's our mask normally you just click and says create vector mask so it will create it for you and you notice right here when I come to the hair I just gone around the hair so what next I want to do I want to take and isolate this hair out so to do this we'll just go to the select color range and I'm clicking right around the hair so you can see we can preview nicely how the hair going so the adjustment again you can modify between gray scale white matte or black which one is better working for you okay and we'll just go around and probably find it around this area I think will work very well okay we'll click OK and when it's selected just go click mask press Control I you can inverse before or after it's the same things and you notice right here we create a mask for this however okay if I click alt and on a mask it's showing me mask you notice we also cut some portions right here and that I don't need it because we already have it mask um, our vector mask so I'm going to take a brush we'll select hard edge brush okay and we're going to set 100% opacity and let's set to the white okay so right here let me go so we select our right tool okay and next all what we need to do is just paint over this in our brush okay. so we can uh, go right there um, I'm trying not come closer to those edges but right here I can probably cover a little bit around the hair okay. edges we had masks so I'm just come very close right here and we can just remove all of this um you also can have the easiest way to do this you have to just take your select tools as example and we'll just fill up with a white color so all what this mask is held for us you can see right here it is only the hair so, and it's kind of nice because we don't need worried about all other ones and if you want to tweak and modify a little bit better you can always can come back and uh, refine that mask to create it even better hair going so right here we have a full mask done with the hair okay the next step what I want to do I want to start working and fixing some blemishes right here on a skin so let's do that.